Give them a nice balance scoring seven players in double figures. Is that a record? Tied it. Tied it? I'd have left Cox in if y'all would have told me. Well, I'd have gotten her made, one more bucket. One more That's right. It's on her, isn't it, Jerry? Tell her, Coach Hill. Um, I thought we started the game um, very good. Uh, it starts with Chloe Jackson. I can't tell you how impressed I am with her. Point guard is the most difficult position on the floor. And for her to come here and just grasp everything I'm throwing at her every day and to, to lead our basketball team, um, it, it's, it's, it's really remarkable. Um, we got out quickly. I think we shot 71% that first quarter. And then uh, the, the new ones and, you know, kids that didn't get a lot of minutes late in the year last year, they came out more confident. Moon's an example of that. Um, we got a lot of talent, and we got a lot of them that want to shoot the ball. But I thought our, our help side defense was better. I thought we moved our feet better. We focused on that all week, and we did, we did things a lot better on the defensive end. How pleased were you? Everybody played at least 12 minutes, especially the freshmen coming in, playing quality minutes, taking high-quality shots as well. Well, first thing I was pleased with <laughs> – I didn't have five sitting by me in the first half with two fouls. I think we had three. So that's progress. Um, we only had one foul out. Uh, they've just got to figure out the hand check stuff. I thought that everybody looked for their shot. Very unselfish basketball team. Uh, I think, as you saw, we can uh, score a lot of points. Uh, I can run a lot of different things. I have big, big at the post, and I have athletic big at the post. I think the quickness on the perimeter is above average. I wouldn't say it's blazing speed, but we anticipate a lot of things. And keeping people in front of us was very important. We have focused on dribble penetration, stopping it, and then when we get beat, somebody help us. Kim, you were talking about Chloe. It looks like she's looking past first. She's well, that position makes you look pass first, but listen, Chloe, I'm not taking away her scoring. She just happens to be able to find open players right now, but um, Chloe can score. She's, she's a great mid-range shooter, and I can even move her to the two when I put Juicy at the point some, but um, Chloe can, can score the ball. Chloe can push the ball up the floor. As I tell our post players, when you're in with Chloe, if you will just take off and run, even the wing players, she's pushing it. So get down there and you'll be rewarded. Moon, how did you feel about your game tonight? At one point you went three for three from deep and you were five from six for the field. Um, you know, Coach been telling me in practice to shoot the ball. My teammates have been encouraging me a lot to shoot the ball. Um, it's different from last year. Uh, I'm trying to be more confident. Um, day by day, and I'm just taking it shot at a time. So tonight, um, I was open. My teammates found me on the perimeter, and I saw one fall, and then I saw the second one fall, and after that, you know, I saw the third one, and it just felt good to be able to knock those shots down. Kalani, with a lot of new people, new faces, the chemistry level, uh, especially right off the bat, uh, looked tremendous. Uh, did you guys feel that way? Just I mean, everybody was, you know, like, like I said, unselfish, and uh, that almost like you guys picked up where you left off last year. Uh, yeah, I like games like that. Um, we were all gelling, and I don't know, our team chemistry is just as great as it was last year, I thought that, and it took us a long way, so this year I think it's going to take us a long way, too. Um, but, yeah, so to see that unselfishness, um, it goes a long way. Well, it wasn't even good off to a 24 to start to the season. <laughs> Well, in the exhibition games, I thought uh, we didn't get a good go, go off to a great start. So we had to, you know, the first game of the season, you know, you can't, yeah, we had to come out blazing, and we did. We came out bored and blazing. I thought uh, we had a great start, uh, but it, that, but that's very important um, to have a great start. Kwame Kim stressed, you know, after that, he gave up sixty one in that last Oof. exhibition game. But, you know, like Clark said, I mean, you, you shut them down for the longest time. How much was that emphasis tonight to really hold them down like that? Oh, well, in practice, after that game, we <laughs> we pretty much did defense the whole time. Uh, so, um, 
it became an emphasis and uh you know coach is a defensive coach so i know she was going to be disappointed that we gave up uh, 61 points so i'm just glad that we came out and uh, our defense display was really good Clyde, a little different minutes wise for the front court this season too <coughs> Lauren combined i think with 40 minutes total between the two of y'all what does that mean when you guys get the ability to rest a little bit more uh, it's re it's really good for both of us, you know. Um, we Lauren has problems with her knees, so um, being able to take that breather, uh, it <coughs> almost get, lets us distribute a little bit more. You know, we're not uh, just burnt out by the end of the season. So, coach, are you starting to find? Um, are you starting to have a good idea of what that starting lineup is going to look like in the foreseeable future, or still kind of figuring things out? No, I, I like the five that I started tonight. The only problem there is Juicy and Chloe have to basically play the point guard position for us, and I'll have to be very careful, um, you know, to, to sub each of them and not have them both on the floor for 40 minutes at a time. But could be some games that I do have that. Um, you know, I, I think we have a lot of weapons. I think that – there's not a kid on that floor that I'm not confident in putting in the ball game right now. Again, that depends on who we play because they all have different strengths and weaknesses. I thought uh, free throws were very obvious that we got to quit missing that many free throws. That's free throw is nothing but get up there and have a little rhythm. And I don't even think it's confidence with this bunch. I just think they don't focus as as much. And and we got to we got to fix that. Kalani, the bench had 53 points. Um, how encouraging is it to know that you have that kind of backup coming in to the game whenever you go out? Um. Uh, our bench is very important uh, for them to come out and distribute was uh, amazing. I was was amazing. I I was impressed with our freshmen. Um, to be able to rotate just any five, uh, it's kind of scary. You know what we really can do when we really get get it all together and get it working. So. Moon, what did you work on most during this offseason to build this confidence that you um, Definitely my shot. I've been working on it a lot. Um, and then I've been working on getting to the paint off of one, hour, one of our uh, plays. Um, coach telling me that I elevate so high I could just, you know, shoot and get in the air and just knock down that shot. So that and ball handling, I've been trying to get, get that together so I can possibly relieve one of the guards if, you know, if, if needed two or three minutes, whatever the case is. But I've definitely been working on my shot a lot. Um, we need, you know, you know, Juicy, she's a three-point threat, and it's always okay to have another one, so. Coach, you spoke about the different post players that you could go to, but at certain stretches in the game, you had Moon, Chloe, and Juicy all in playing your guard spots. What does that give you to be able to go smaller with that kind of line? Well, we can press. Um, but I'm only going to press uh, with the right post players in the game. Kalani would love to be out there, but I'm just not going to put Kalani out there pressing. Right, Kalani? Right. Okay. Right. No, I can use her in the back of the one two one one. But um, it gives you a little bit of quickness. Um, you know, I, I have a lot of weapons. Just remember, I told you that. We have a lot of weapons, but those weapons aren't any good if we don't have consistent point guard play. And if Chloe Jackson can stay healthy and Juicy can give her some relief, uh, if you didn't notice, Chloe has instincts that you got to watch the game and see. Uh, she just throws it right there. She sees a post player open. It's a very simple little pass. Just feed them. Just feed them. Um, she helps a lot on the defensive end when you really don't even know that she's doing it. Uh, she's not very vo vocal. She needs to open her mouth more. Uh, but, you know, to do what that kid is doing for our basketball team, guys, um, I'm just telling you, it's, it's pretty amazing when she hasn't played that position. Well, D.D. Was, is my third option. Um, D.D. tweaked her ankle again tonight, that same ankle. She rolled it on somebody's foot, so that's why she didn't go back in. But D.D. Dee has Dee – I've worked her there too. Uh, you just never know who's going to get in foul trouble, what you need. So it's Chloe, Juicy, and D.D. Dee Dee. And then maybe Cox. She thinks she's a point guard. 
Yeah. Yep. All right, guys. Y'all be good. Oh, my bad.